In theoretical physics, quantum chromodynamics QCD is the theory of the strong interaction between quarks and gluons, the fundamental particles that make up composite hadrons such as the proton, neutron and pion. QCD is a type of quantum field theory called a non-abelian gauge theory, with symmetry group SU The QCD analog of electric charge is a property called color. Gluons are the force carrier of the theory, like photons are for the electromagnetic force in quantum electrodynamics. The theory is an important part of the standard model of particle physics. A large body of experimental evidence for QCD has been gathered over the years. QCD exhibits two main properties. Color confinement. This is a consequence of the constant force between two color charges as they are separated, in order to increase the separation between two quarks within a hadron, ever increasing amounts of energy are required. Eventually this energy produces a quark-antiquark pair, turning the initial hadron into a pair of hadrons instead of producing an isolated color charge. Although analytically unproven, color confinement is well established from lattice QCD calculations and decades of experiments. Asymptotic freedom, a steady reduction in the strength of interactions between quarks and gluons as the energy scale of those interactions increases and the corresponding length scale decreases. The asymptotic freedom of QCD was discovered in 1973 by David Gross and Frank Vilcek, and independently by David Politzer in the same year. For this work all three shared the 2004 Nobel Prize in Physics. Terminology Physicist Murray Gell-Mann coined the word quark in its present sense. It originally comes from the phrase, three quarks for muster mark, in Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. On June 27, 1978, Gell-Mann wrote a private letter to the editor of the Oxford English Dictionary, in which he related that he had been influenced by Joyce's words, "...the allusion to three quarks seemed perfect." Originally, only three quarks had been discovered. The three kinds of charge in QCD as opposed to one in quantum electrodynamics or QED are usually referred to as "...color charge." by loose analogy to the three kinds of color red, green and blue perceived by humans. Other than this nomenclature, the quantum parameter color is completely unrelated to the everyday, familiar phenomenon of color. The force between quarks is known as the color force or, color force or strong interaction, and is responsible for the strong nuclear force. Since the theory of electric charge is dubbed electrodynamics, the Greek word chroma chroma color, is applied to the theory of color charge chromodynamics topic history with the invention of bubble chambers and spark chambers in the 1950s experimental particle physics discovered a large and ever growing number of particles called hadrons it seemed that such a large number of particles could not all be fundamental First, the particles were classified by charge and isospin by Eugene Wigner and Werner Heisenberg. Then, in 1953-56, according to Strangeness by Murray Gell-Mann and Kazuhiko Nishijima, see Gell-Mann Nishijima formula. To gain greater insight, the hadrons were sorted into groups having similar properties and masses using the eightfold way, invented in 1961 by Gell-Mann and Yuval Naaman. Gell-Mann and George Zweig, correcting an earlier approach of Shoichi Sakata, went on to propose in 1963 that the structure of the groups could be explained by the existence of three flavors of smaller particles inside the hadrons, the quarks. Perhaps the first remark that quarks should possess an additional quantum number was made as a short footnote in the preprint of Boris Straminsky in connection with omega-minus hyperon composed of three strange quarks with parallel spins this situation was peculiar, because since quarks are fermions, such combination is forbidden by the Pauli exclusion principle, three identical quarks cannot form an antisymmetric s-state. In order to realize an antisymmetric orbital s state, it is necessary for the quark to have an additional quantum number. Boris Straminsky was a PhD student of Nikolai Bogolubov. The problem considered in this preprint was suggested by Nikolai Bogolubov, who advised Boris Straminsky in this research. In the beginning of 1965, Nikolai Bogolubov, Boris Straminsky, and Albert Tavakalidze wrote a preprint with a more detailed discussion of the additional quark quantum degree of freedom. 
This work was also presented by Albert Tavakalidze without obtaining consent of his collaborators for doing so at an international conference in Trieste, Italy. In May 1965, a similar mysterious situation was with the Delta++ Baryon. In the quark model, it is composed of three up quarks with parallel spins. In 1964–65, Greenberg and Han Nambu independently resolved the problem by proposing that quarks possess an additional SU gauge degree of freedom, later called color charge. Han and Nambu noted that quarks might interact via an octet of vector gauge bosons, the gluons. Since free quark searches consistently failed to turn up any evidence for the new particles, and because an elementary particle back then was defined as a particle which could be separated and isolated, Gelman often said that quarks were merely convenient mathematical constructs, not real particles. The meaning of this statement was usually clear in context, he meant quarks are confined, but he also was implying that the strong interactions could probably not be fully described by quantum field theory. Richard Feynman argued that high-energy experiments showed quarks are real particles, he called them partons since they were parts of hadrons. By particles, Feynman meant objects which travel along paths, elementary particles in a field theory. The difference between Feynman's and Gelman's approaches reflected a deep split in the theoretical physics community. Feynman thought the quarks have a distribution of position or momentum, like any other particle, and he correctly believed that the diffusion of parton momentum explained diffractive scattering. Although Gelman believed that certain quark charges could be localized, he was open to the possibility that the quarks themselves could not be localized because space and time break down. This was the more radical approach of S-matrix theory. James Bjorken proposed that point-like partons would imply certain relations in deep inelastic scattering of electrons and protons, which were verified in experiments at SLAC in 1969. This led physicists to abandon the S-matrix approach for the strong interactions. In 1973 the concept of color as the source of a strong field was developed into the theory of QCD by physicists Harold Fritsch and Heinrich Lutweiler, together with physicist Murray Gell-Mann. In particular, they employed the general field theory developed in 1954 by Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills, see Yang Mills theory, in which the carrier particles of a force can themselves radiate further carrier particles. This is different from QED, where the photons that carry the electromagnetic force do not radiate further photons. The discovery of asymptotic freedom in the strong interactions by David Gross, David Politzer and Frank Vilcek allowed physicists to make precise predictions of the results of many high-energy experiments using the quantum field theory technique of perturbation theory. Evidence of gluons was discovered in three jet events at Petra in 1979. These experiments became more and more precise, culminating in the verification of perturbative QCD at the level of a few percent at the LEP in CERN. The other side of asymptotic freedom is confinement. Since the force between color charges does not decrease with distance, it is believed that quarks and gluons can never be liberated from hadrons. This aspect of the theory is verified within lattice QCD computations, but is not mathematically proven. One of the Millennium Prize problems announced by the Clay Mathematics Institute requires a claimant to produce such a proof. Other aspects of non-perturbative QCD are the exploration of phases of quark matter, including the quark-gluon plasma. The relation between the short-distance particle limit and the confining long-distance limit is one of the topics recently explored using string theory, the modern form of S-matrix theory. Theory Some definitions Every field theory of particle physics is based on certain symmetries of nature whose existence is deduced from observations. These can be Local symmetries, that are the symmetries that act independently at each point in spacetime. Each such symmetry is the basis of a gauge theory and requires the introduction of its own gauge bosons. Global symmetries, which are symmetries whose operations must be simultaneously applied to all points of spacetime. QCD is a gauge theory of the SU gauge group obtained by taking the color charge to define a local symmetry. Since the strong interaction does not discriminate between different flavors of quark, QCD has approximate flavor symmetry, which is broken by the differing masses of the quarks. 
There are additional global symmetries whose definitions require the notion of chirality, discrimination between left and right-handed. If the spin of a particle has a positive projection on its direction of motion then it is called left-handed, otherwise, it is right-handed. Chirality and handedness are not the same, but become approximately equivalent at high energies. Chiral symmetries involve independent transformations of these two types of particle. Vector symmetries also called diagonal symmetries mean the same transformation is applied on the two chiralities. Axial symmetries are those in which one transformation is applied on left-handed particles and the inverse on the right-handed particles. Topic: <laughs> Additional remarks, duality. As mentioned, asymptotic freedom means that at large energy, this corresponds also to short distances, there is practically no interaction between the particles. This is in contrast, more precisely one would say dual to what one is used to, since usually one connects the absence of interactions with large distances. However, as already mentioned in the original paper of Franz Wegener, a solid-state theorist who introduced 1971 simple gauge invariant lattice models, the high temperature behavior of the original model, e.g. the strong decay of correlations at large distances, corresponds to the low temperature behavior of the usually ordered dual model, namely the asymptotic decay of non-trivial correlations, e.g. short-range deviations from almost perfect arrangements, for short distances. Here, in contrast to Wegener, we have only the dual model, which is that one described in this article. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Symmetry groups. The color group SU3 corresponds to the local symmetry whose gauging gives rise to QCD. The electric charge labels a representation of the local symmetry group U1, which is gauged to give QED. This is an abelian group. If one considers a version of QCD with NF flavors of massless quarks, then there is a global chiral flavor symmetry group SUL NF times SIR NF times UB 1 times UA 1. The chiral symmetry is spontaneously broken by the QCD vacuum to the vector L plus R SUV NF with the formation of a chiral condensate. The vector symmetry, UB 1 corresponds to the baryon number of quarks and is an exact symmetry. The axial symmetry UA is exact in the classical theory, but broken in the quantum theory, an occurrence called an anomaly. Gluon field configurations called instantons are closely related to this anomaly. There are two different types of SU symmetry, there is the symmetry that acts on the different colors of quarks, and this is an exact gauge symmetry mediated by the gluons, and there is also a flavor symmetry which rotates different flavors of quarks to each other, or flavor SU Flavor SU is an approximate symmetry of the vacuum of QCD, and is not a fundamental symmetry at all. It is an accidental consequence of the small mass of the three lightest quarks. In the QCD vacuum there are vacuum condensates of all the quarks whose mass is less than the QCD scale. This includes the up and down quarks, and to a lesser extent the strange quark, but not any of the others. The vacuum is symmetric under SU isospin rotations of up and down, and to a lesser extent under rotations of up, down and strange, or full flavor group SU and the observed particles make isospin and SU multiplets. The approximate flavor symmetries do have associated gauge bosons, observed particles like the rho and the omega, but these particles are nothing like the gluons and they are not massless. They are emergent gauge bosons in an approximate string description of QCD. Lagrangian The dynamics of the quarks and gluons are controlled by the quantum chromodynamics Lagrangian. The gauge invariant QCD Lagrangian is where psi i x is the quark field, a dynamical function of spacetime, in the fundamental representation of the SU gauge group, indexed by I J display style I J L dots D mu display style D underscore mu is the gauge covariant derivative. The GM are Dirac matrices connecting the spinner representation to the vector representation of the Lorentz group. The symbol G 
mu nu a display style g underscore mu nu caret a represents the gauge invariant gluon field strength tensor analogous to the electromagnetic field strength tensor fmn in quantum electrodynamics it is given by g mu nu a equals mu a nu a minus nu a mu a plus g f a b c a mu b a new c display style g underscore mu new caret a equals partial underscore mu math call a underscore new caret a partial underscore new math call a underscore mu caret a plus g f caret a b c math call a underscore mu caret b math call a underscore new caret c where a mu a x display style math call a underscore mu caret a x are the gluon fields dynamical functions of spacetime in the adjoint representation of the SU three gauge group indexed by a b and f a b c are the structure constants of SU three. Note that the rules to move up or pull down the a b or c indices are trivial plus plus so that f a b c topic f a b c FABC whereas for the mu or nu indices one has the non-trivial relativistic rules corresponding to the metric signature plus minus minus minus. The variables m and g correspond to the quark mass and coupling of the theory, respectively, which are subject to renormalization. An important theoretical concept is the Wilson loop named after Kenneth G. Wilson. In lattice QCD, the final term of the above Lagrangian is discretized via Wilson loops, and more generally the behavior of Wilson loops can distinguish confined and deconfined phases. <laughs> Fields Quarks are massive spin one-half fermions which carry a color charge whose gauging is the content of QCD. Quarks are represented by Dirac fields in the fundamental representation 3 of the gauge group SU 3. They also carry electric charge either minus one third or plus two thirds and participate in weak interactions as part of weak isospin doublets. They carry global quantum numbers including the baryon number, which is one third for each quark, hypercharge and one of the flavor quantum numbers. Gluons are spin-1 bosons which also carry color charges, since they lie in the adjoint representation 8 of SU 3. They have no electric charge, do not participate in the weak interactions, and have no flavor. They lie in the singlet representation 1 of all these symmetry groups. Every quark has its own antiquark. The charge of each antiquark is exactly the opposite of the corresponding quark. Dynamics According to the rules of quantum field theory, and the associated Feynman diagrams, the above theory gives rise to three basic interactions, a quark may emit or absorb a gluon, a gluon may emit or absorb a gluon, and two gluons may directly interact. This contrasts with QED, in which only the first kind of interaction occurs, since photons have no charge. Diagrams involving Fadiev Popov ghosts must be considered too, except in the unitarity gauge. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Area law and confinement. Detailed computations with the above mentioned Lagrangian show that the effective potential between a quark and its anti-quark in a meson contains a term that increases in proportion to the distance between the quark and anti-quark. R display style propto R which represents some kind of stiffness of the interaction between the particle and its antiparticle at large distances similar to the entropic elasticity of a rubber band see below this leads to confinement of the quarks to the interior of hadrons ie mesons and nucleons with typical radii RC corresponding to former bag models 
Of the hadrons the order of magnitude of the bag radius is 1 fm equals 10 minus 15 meters. Moreover, the above-mentioned stiffness is quantitatively related to the so-called area law behavior of the expectation value of the Wilson loop product PW of the ordered coupling constants around a closed loop W, i.e. P W display style Langle P underscore W wrangle is proportional to the area enclosed by the loop. For this behavior, the non-abelian behavior of the gauge group is essential. Topic. Methods Further analysis of the content of the theory is complicated. Various techniques have been developed to work with QCD. Some of them are discussed briefly below. Topic. Perturbative QCD This approach is based on asymptotic freedom, which allows perturbation theory to be used accurately in experiments performed at very high energies. Although limited in scope, this approach has resulted in the most precise tests of QCD to date. Topic. Lattice QCD Among non-perturbative approaches to QCD, the most well-established one is lattice QCD. This approach uses a discrete set of spacetime points called the lattice to reduce the analytically intractable path integrals of the continuum theory to a very difficult numerical computation which is then carried out on supercomputers like the QCDOC which was constructed for precisely this purpose. While it is a slow and resource-intensive approach, it has wide applicability, giving insight into parts of the theory inaccessible by other means, in particular into the explicit forces acting between quarks and antiquarks in a meson. However, the numerical sign problem makes it difficult to use lattice methods to study QCD at high density and low temperature e.g. nuclear matter or the interior of neutron stars. Topic. 1.N expansion A well-known approximation scheme, the 1.N expansion, starts from the idea that the number of colors is infinite, and makes a series of corrections to account for the fact that it is not. Until now, it has been the source of qualitative insight rather than a method for quantitative predictions. Modern variants include the ADS, CFT approach. Topic. Effective theories For specific problems effective theories may be written down which give qualitatively correct results in certain limits. In the best of cases, these may then be obtained as systematic expansions in some parameter of the QCD Lagrangian. One such effective field theory is chiral perturbation theory or CHIPT, which is the QCD effective theory at low energies. More precisely, it is a low-energy expansion based on the spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking of QCD, which is an exact symmetry when quark masses are equal to zero, but for the U, D and S quark, which have small mass, it is still a good approximate symmetry. Depending on the number of quarks which are treated as light, one uses either SU two chipped or SU three chipped. Other effective theories are heavy quark effective theory which expands around heavy quark mass near infinity, and soft collinear effective theory which expands around large ratios of energy scales. In addition to effective theories, models like the nambu jonah Licinio model and the chiral model are often used when discussing general features. <laughs> QCD sum rules Based on an operator product expansion one can derive sets of relations that connect different observables with each other. nambu jonah Licinio model In one of his recent works, Keiichi Kondo derived as a low energy limit of QCD, a theory linked to the nambu jonah Licinio model since it is basically a particular non-local version of the polyakov nambu jonah Licinio model. The later being in its local version, nothing but the nambu jonah Licinio model in which one has included the Polyakov loop effect, in order to describe a certain confinement. 
The Nambu Jonah Licinio model in itself is, among many other things, used because it is a relatively simple model of chiral symmetry breaking. Phenomenon present up to certain conditions, chiral limit, i.e., massless fermions, in QCD itself. In this model, however, there is no confinement. In particular, the energy of an isolated quark in the physical vacuum turns out well defined and finite. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Experimental tests. The notion of quark flavors was prompted by the necessity of explaining the properties of hadrons during the development of the quark model. The notion of color was necessitated by the puzzle of the delta plus plus. This has been dealt with in the section on the history of QCD. The first evidence for quarks as real constituent elements of hadrons was obtained in deep inelastic scattering experiments at SLAC. The first evidence for gluons came in three jet events at Petra. Several good quantitative tests of perturbative QCD exist. The running of the QCD coupling is deduced from many observations. Scaling violation in polarized and unpolarized deep inelastic scattering Vector boson production at colliders this includes the Drell-Yan process Direct photons produced in hadronic collisions Jet cross sections in colliders Event shape observables at the LEP Heavy quark production in colliders Quantitative tests of non-perturbative QCD are fewer, because the predictions are harder to make. The best is probably the running of the QCD coupling as probed through lattice computations of heavy quarkonium spectra. There is a recent claim about the mass of the heavy meson BC 3. Other non-perturbative tests are currently at the level of 5% at best. Continuing work on masses and form factors of hadrons and their weak matrix elements are promising candidates for future quantitative tests. The whole subject of quark matter and the quark gluon plasma is a non-perturbative test bed for QCD which still remains to be properly exploited. One qualitative prediction of QCD is that there exist composite particles made solely of gluons called glueballs that have not yet been definitively observed experimentally. A definitive observation of a glueball with the properties predicted by QCD would strongly confirm the theory. In principle, if glueballs could be definitively ruled out, this would be a serious experimental blow to QCD. But, as of 2013, scientists are unable to confirm or deny the existence of glueballs definitively, despite the fact that particle accelerators have sufficient energy to generate them. <laughs> Cross relations to solid state physics There are unexpected cross relations to solid state physics. For example, the notion of gauge invariance forms the basis of the well known Mattis spin glasses, which are systems with the usual spin degrees of freedom S i equals plus or minus 1 display style S underscore i equals PM1 for i equals 1 n with the special fixed random couplings J I K equals E I J zero E K display style J underscore I K equals epsilon underscore I J underscore zero epsilon underscore K. Here the epsilon I and epsilon K quantities can independently and randomly. Take the values plus or minus 1, which corresponds to a most simple gauge transformation S I S I E I J I K E I J I K E K S K S K E k display style s underscore i to s underscore i c d o t epsilon underscore i quad j underscore i k to epsilon underscore i j underscore i k epsilon underscore k quad s underscore k to s underscore k c d o t epsilon underscore k. This means that thermodynamic expectation values of measurable quantities, e.g., of the energy h equals Minus 
s i j i k s k display style math call h equals sum s underscore i j underscore i k s underscore k are invariant however here the coupling degrees of freedom j i k display style j underscore i k which in the qcd correspond to the gluons are frozen to fixed values quenching in contrast in the qcd they fluctuate Annealing, and through the large number of gauge degrees of freedom the entropy plays an important role see below. For positive J0 the thermodynamics of the mattice spin glass corresponds in fact simply to a ferromagnet in disguise, just because these systems have no frustration at all. This term is a basic measure in spin glass theory. Quantitatively it is identical with the loop product P W equals J I K J K L J N M J M I display style P underscore W equals J underscore I K J underscore K L J underscore N M J underscore M I Along a closed loop W, however, for a mattice spin glass, in contrast to genuine spin glasses, the quantity PW never becomes negative. The basic notion, frustration, of the spin glass is actually similar to the Wilson loop quantity of the QCD. The only difference is again that in the QCD one is dealing with SU matrices, and that one is dealing with a fluctuating quantity. Energetically, perfect absence of frustration should be non-favorable and atypical for a spin glass, which means that one should add the loop product to the Hamiltonian, by some kind of term representing a punishment. In the QCD the Wilson loop is essential for the Lagrangian right away. The relation between the QCD and disordered magnetic systems the spin glasses belong to them were additionally stressed in a paper by Fradkin, Huberman and Schenker, which also stresses the notion of duality. A further analogy consists in the already mentioned similarity to polymer physics, where, analogously to Wilson loops, so-called entangled nets appear, which are important for the formation of the entropy elasticity force proportional to the length of a rubber band. The non-abelian character of the SU corresponds thereby to the non-trivial chemical links, which glue different loop segments together, and asymptotic freedom. Means in the polymer analogy simply the fact that in the short wave limit, i.e. for 0 lambda w r c display style 0 left arrow lambda underscore w l l r underscore c, where r c is a characteristic correlation length for the glued loops, corresponding to the above mentioned bag radius. While lambda w is the wavelength of an excitation, any non-trivial correlation vanishes totally, as if the system had crystallized. There is also a correspondence between confinement in QCD, the fact that the color field is only different from zero in the interior of hadrons, and the behavior of the usual magnetic field in the theory of type II superconductors. There, the magnetism is confined to the interior of the Abricuso flux line lattice, i.e., the London penetration depth lambda of that theory is analogous to the confinement radius R C of quantum chromodynamics. Mathematically, this correspondence is supported by the second term g g mu a psi i gamma mu t i j a psi j Display style propto g g underscore mu caret a bar psi underscore i gamma caret mu t underscore i j caret a psi underscore j on the r h s of the Lagrangian. Topic. See also. For overviews, see standard model, its field theoretical formulation, strong interactions, quarks and gluons, hadrons, confinement, QCD matter, or quark-gluon plasma.
For details, see gauge theory, quantization procedure including BRST quantization and Fadiv Popov ghosts. A more general category is quantum field theory. For techniques, see lattice QCD, 1, N expansion, perturbative QCD, soft collinear effective theory, heavy quark effective theory, chiral models, and the Nambu and Jonah Licinio model. For experiments, see quark search experiments, deep inelastic scattering, jet physics, quark gluon plasma. Symmetry in quantum mechanics, 